Hello guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about the usage of the interrupts within the Arduino Uno inside the Proteus platform. So first we have to go to the new project and we can write any of the name of our own choice. So we can write any of the name, okay? Okay, now our main window opens up. Now as we are dealing with the interrupts, so you must know that what an interrupt is. In an, an interrupt is just like a normal function of the Arduino Uno, you know, but its main property is to listen an event. And what is an event? An event can be anything, like if we are going to supply 0 or 1 on any digital I.O. Then we can say that it is an event. So interrupt will listen. Interrupt can be attached to any of the, not any of the pin, but to some of the pins of the Arduino, like pin number 2 and 3. And then the interrupts can be attached to these pins. And after it, interrupts will listen any sort of event occurs at these pins is in our project first okay uh, let we okay now we will try to build it up first of all we need to take the Arduino Uno okay now we have taken our Arduino Uno Then we will take one LED and LED must be red so that or of any color like green or of any color. Okay. We will attach this LED to the digital pin number 12. Okay, now attach the ground with this LED. Okay. Okay, this is. Now in our code, we will attach the interrupt with the pin number 3. Pin number 3 of the Arduino Uno. You know. So what, what Arduino will do then, it will continuously continuously listen to the change in event and when there is a, an, when there is a change in the event, like uh, if, if there is 0, then if, after 0, if, if there is 1 coming, then interrupt will call interrupt service routine or the main function. Okay, okay, it's uh, better to have some explanation in the code first we will take our logic uh, state and we will attach it with the pin number three okay after it we, we, we will go towards our code okay now here our LED is connected with the pin number 12 of the Arduino you know the interrupt is attached with the pin number three of the you know and LED underscore state is declared as the low. Like first, LED must be off. This is the initialization. And then after initialization, we will come towards our wired setup. And wired setup will just execute one time. Here, pin mode, LED underscore pin comma output is the declaration of the output pin, which is actually the LED pin, pin number 12. Then pin mode, interrupt pin, in, input underscore pull up. Pull up are actually the resistors, pull up resistors. So, so they are initialized and they are now on. This is the most important line that is attached interrupt. Digital pin to interrupt and this pin and then. So what this function will do, it will continuously listen that if there is any sort of change. Change where? On the interrupt pin, that is on pin number 3, if there is any sort of change, then interrupt, sir, in, interrupt service routine will be called. And what is this? ISR or interrupt service routine is, is the function like this blinker. So this blinker function will be called. So control goes to this white blinker like this. And it will, and what it will do? It will change the state of the LED like due to this sign. Uh, it is the, actually the inversion like 
LED state if it is like uh, 0 then after it it will become 1 and then uh, while loop is our continuous running loop so LED pin comma LED state so LED state will change the LED state of the LED so now we will run this okay now we will we will take this file we will copy this link control C double click on the Arduino and here we need to write control V okay so okay now uh, interrupt is attached with the pin number three so when we used to change the state of the pin the LED uh, LED becomes on here, here you can see so hopefully you got the concept regarding the usage of interrupt within the Proteus so thanks for visiting our channel